I've had streak hair on but welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new this is Kiara Kaloi here and I am back with a new video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how I make my closure wig um, I have not worn a closure in years but um, I kind of decided to try it and the hair I'm wearing is from Amazon and it's from a company named Lonky hair um i'm wearing a 10 inch closure 14 16 and 18 inch bundles so i used all three bundles and the hair is very soft it's a uh, i got the body wave um had it on for about two and a half days now but so far i'm not experiencing any shedding um any tangling none of that um i did not cut the web so maybe that's why um the closure it bleached really really well uh, I did not have a problem with anything the only con I would say about this hair is that I got body wave but when I initially like got the bundle it was really like you know, it was really wavy looking and after I washed it um, it's like the wave kind of went away uh, so if you're looking for like true body wave hair I would say you know it doesn't really stay um, wavy just like you got it but for me I just I personally don't mind the hair you know not being kind of like originally body wave because I just wanted to get uh, who's that texting me? Um, because I just wanted to get uh, I never get really bold straight hair I don't know it's a uh, like if I go to the pool or something or it starts raining I want my hair to start wave like getting wavy I don't want it to stay bold straight because my hair is not bone straight so it's just a weird little thing that I do so this works for me but as I was saying it's very soft it's lovely it just looks it just looks really natural and it's kind of long on me it reaches like down like it's like waist length for me um it as you can see right here I, I kind of straightened it like the back is straightened but I added some curls in the front but it's pretty straight and it's pretty like you know um, but yeah so I would definitely recommend this hair um, I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box below um, don't forget to check that out and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this wig next so keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um, yeah oh by the way I'm definitely gonna be giving an update like maybe a one month update on this hair like later on to give you guys like a final review but I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would make a wig using a closure and so these are all the material you're gonna be needing you're gonna need some bleaching powder the BW2 was sold out at my beauty supply so I'm using bleaching powder developer and that's a 40 a mannequin head you part wig cap or dome cap whichever is fine and I'm gonna be using um, needle and thread and the most important the most important part is this hair that I'm using from Long Kui Beauty and this is how it came the packaging look a little crazy right here because my address was on it so I wanted to like I, I was peeling it off but uh, um, this is what it came in what I got was a 10 inch closure with three bundles okay so I got 18 16 and 14 the hair is really soft and the frontal looks kind of like I said frontal oh my god the the 
closure kind of looks like they already kind of plucked it in the front um but let's check out the bundle okay so this is this is really full this is full the ends are healthy um okay all i can say is that the hair is really soft and it did not smell or anything so before i do anything with my wig i normally wash all my bundles just because i have really sensitive skin on my face so i don't want to break out so i just always wash i will just show you guys quickly how i bleach my frontal uh but i keep saying frontal my closure but yeah to bleach the closure all i'm gonna be doing is using a little cup I'm applying this this the rest of this bleaching powder that i had so developer and make sure it's kind of creamy and not runny and i'm just mixing it As you guys can see when I pick it up it's not running it's kind of thick so we're just gonna apply it on the closure and what I'm gonna be using is a little knife it makes the application easier and I'm just spreading it I'm not pushing it inside and make sure you apply it onto the lace and the front so I'm just gonna leave this for about 20 minutes and um, I just realized that I didn't have any uh, aluminum foil but in this part you would normally put aluminum foil for the 20 minutes just to make it faster and in the meantime I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wash these bundles so I'll be right back so after everything, here's the closure and what it looks like. Um, it kind of, you know, as you can see, it's blending in very well. Um, I'm just going to place this onto the wig cap. Just make sure it's stretched out pretty well. So that there's no lump. I need to invest in those um stands with the mannequin head because this is just all over the place. So I went and I kind of pinned down the closure, you know, um, and I'm just gonna start sewing. But I'm gonna start sewing and I'm just gonna sew the perimeter. And how I'm doing it, how I'm doing it is um. I'm going to and I'm just gonna do this okay and then I'm just gonna keep going I'm gonna go through it and go like this you guys can see the stitch I always pull it right through and in between the And this is what it looks like right now. As you can see, it's really flat. And when I first start like a track, I always go through the through the um weft at the beginning, just so it could be really you know secured in place. Um, so after I do that, I just go. I don't go through the weft anymore. I just go under them and this i feel like it's easier and it doesn't you know damage the bundles so let me flip it like this so you guys could see better how i'm doing it and i'm just gonna be doing this all throughout the wig so i'm going under the west like this and i'm going under and pulling make sure it doesn't get caught into the t-pin 
So that's a pain. Going under, pulling. The beginning of the bundle and the end of the bundle, I go through the weft once and just to secure it. And when I'm doing the flip over, I go through the side twice so that it could lay flat. And then I start. Um, so I'm showing you guys again one more time how I would go and sew it. And then I'm not cutting no webs because I feel like it's unnecessary really and this is all I'm doing and I'm still on my first so I just so. ended up doing that same little method um, until I reached the top of the closure and I'm gonna show you guys how the wig looks like now I apologize as you guys can see my cat just don't mind her but um this is the wig. I think I want to straighten this hair. So, yeah. Can you get, go? Let me let me get it. Stop it. Hey, hey. Give me that. No. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Hey. Mine. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is um, after I finish doing this I'm taking scissors and I'm just gonna cut the little excess right here and make sure you don't cut it close too close and make sure you don't cut the lace my scissors are not sharp but um, do not cut the lace and do not cut it too close so that it would like you know unravel and stuff So yeah, and then to cut the lace, um, I'm going to cut it right here because I just didn't really feel like placing it on. So um, I'm going little by little because I just don't want to, you know, cut too much at once. So I want to cut my lace and that's about it. <laughs> 